just by walking around the mm. school and seeing all of the, the cultural symbols and the gardens and the totems and yeah. the halls and the murals uh, that we do value Aboriginal culture, Aboriginal education. Every assembly, uh, we have the didgeridoo boys um, play and they do the acknowledgement of country on all school assemblies. Um, we don't ring a bell for the assembly to settle down, we play the didge and it's a great, a great settler mm. and it immediately gets all the kids' attention. They know where it's coming from and what it's all about. So all of those sorts of ongoing symbols you can't take for granted. You have to keep reinforcing them, achieving the overall cultural change that we need. It's a change in thinking, um, in celebrating the Aboriginality, in, in everyone gaining something from the culture that hasn't really been understood all that well, nor celebrated. And the more you get into it, the more you understand it, um, the better the school feels. It's mm. a, and it's a, something that's been noted by a lot of people. It's a good when feeling. They, when they come into the school, it feels good uh, because of, of what we've done uh, in acknowledging uh, traditional owners, in acknowledging culture, uh, in like, getting kids to identify, have good self-esteem. Uh, there are a whole lot of bonuses that accrue to the whole school by celebrating the Aboriginal culture and also implementing this policy, policy. effectively.